100% ready to attack. Okay, so that means this rolls out, the tools, this is actually um, geared towards we're meeting with the fire department um, next week. They wanna be able to cut into cars and roofs quickly. So this is a chainsaw with a carbide tooth blade, 18 volt, uh, ready to go. And I'm excited because we put a carbide tooth blade so you cut through anything you want, right? Careful. Get it, George. Thanks. Get it, George. Oh. <laughs> Get that white Toyota, Prius, don't get that. Prius. <laughs> this, this is one of our new tools. It's a nine inch cutoff saw. The fire department loves this because they'll be able to cut into any car wreckage and save people, okay? So it's 18 volt, not gas powered, which typically is gas powered. And I put an aftermarket carbide tooth blade on here. So this thing will eat through anything. If I wanted to cut through that wall, I could do it in about I don't three or four you. seconds. I don't believe you either. When you do this at the fire department, are you going to have a car to do it? Um, I'm actually, they have a car and a house. We've I'm done it once, we're going to do it again in front of their chief purchaser, and they're going to cut <clears> you a check for $47,000. ordering 44 of those and 22 of those. <laughs> nice. One for each. Two of those for each truck and one of these for each truck. Who's that for? Fire so, department. Fire department. Fire department. What city? Uh, that one is be DeKalb, Coweta's next, and then we have Lana coming up. Coming that up. bad boy. So, you know, has. the next question is, right? It's going on Omnia, right? So, <laughs> look at this bad boy. This is our rocket light. Um, and this Dang. is, again, this this is gonna be for the fire department. Yeah. But they need a, qu a way to quickly establish where the in entrance and exit is. So this is perfect because it sets up for them. On that battery, it'll run for about eight to 12 hours. Obviously, wow. they don't need that much time, but they want to be able to come in, identify where the in, where the exit is, so they can go in and, and get and get out quickly. <laughs> yeah. Converting converting that to a concrete saw is as easy as swapping the blade and connecting this to it. So then it becomes a wet saw. I was wondering what that. Was Absolutely, yeah, very cool. So that thing will cut metal, it'll cut um, concrete, and if, again, if you guys. Don't mind, I'll cut the curb and I'll just pay for it later. Yeah, sure. It. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, that is uh, everything except for, where's my big guy? He's always on the phone. Isn't he? He's having peach cobbler. Uh, of course. Tell, he, tell he, me that story about the fire department again. You say sure, that. sure. So, um, one of our leads that we were working with your par on was the uh, DeKalb County Fire Department. Chief Smith requested that we bring um, a chainsaw with a carbide tooth blade and a cutoff saw with a carbide tooth blade as well as the light. Uh, this will be so we can cut into the roof. As you know, the roof has asphalt, wood, and um, nails. So this, by replacing the blade uh, with the carbide tooth, it'll get through all of that multiple times. Second thing is they wanna be able to quickly get into a car to keep the people that are in need. So this thing with, with the aftermarket blade, will cut into any car we want in about three or four seconds, and it's 18 volt. The cool thing about that is if you're at a fire or a dangerous situation, you don't want to bring gas to a fire, right? It just doesn't make sense. It's also Ooh. finicky. You might not, if you've ever worked with a two-stroke engine, it's always tough to start. So these are gonna start every time, no fumes, quiet so they can communicate with each other, and then safely remove everybody from the fire. Last, the light. They requested the light because they like to establish an exit, an entrance and an exit. So when they see the light through the smoke, they know where to come in 